All right, guys, welcome back. So now we're going to actually start working with that GPS receiver. So first thing we want to do is just make sure that it's being recognized by the Raspberry Pi. So there's this thing we can do called LS USB and LS is for list and it's just going to list the USB devices. Um, and I know that this happens to be the GPS receiver. So, uh, you know, if this wasn't, if my USB GPS wasn't plugged in, we wouldn't see this, uh, this entry here. So, so that's good. Um, the next thing we have to do is install um, some packages for the GPS. So there's these two packages that are really standard for working with um, GPS receivers, and it's called GPSD. So GPSD is for daemon, and then GPSD clients. So this is some, um, the GPSD is like what interfaces with the USB receiver, and then th this clients is like uh, some additional software um, You'll see in a sec. So I'm just going to install these and just click Y. And I've been following a variety of guides online to learn all this information. Um, let me see if I can pull some of the ones up that I've been looking at. So there's this one. This isn't the same USB receiver we're using, but that shouldn't matter. Um, so this, they're just installing it. So here they're downloading the software. Um, but that's not what I want to do yet. So let's just let this download and install. All right, so it finished installing. Um, so let's just see what it did. So it installed this service called GPSD and we can just take a look at it to see the status of it. So it's running. So this GPSD is up and running, but it's not configured correctly. It's not working with our um, receiver yet. Um, so remember that GPSD clients we installed, that also installed something called C GPS. And this is just a program that lets you visualize the GPS tracking, the coordinates you're getting. So you can see here, it's a little program that's showing all this information, but there's nothing here. We're not seeing anything. Um, so that just means our GPSD is not set up with our receiver. So we're going to have to get a piece of information about our um, GPS receiver. And in order to do that, we're going to copy this. We're going to run this D message grep TTY. So grep is just, it's searching for text. So we're searching for anything that has this TTY. And to be honest, I don't know exactly what, what this is doing, but it's basically getting like an ID of uh, our GPS unit. So it says right here, USB now attached to TTY USB zero. So this piece of information is what we need to put in a config file. Um, so just keep that in mind. We're going to have to edit this one file here. It's, so I'm gonna paste this in, whoops. paste that in and I'm saying sudo, which means run is the root and then nano is the editor. And this is the file. So Etsy default GPSD. So this is just like the basic configuration file. And you can see right here, devices, there's nothing set up here to run. So it says devices GPSD should collect at boot time. So it's not doing anything right now. So we just need to add in our, um, that dev slash TTY USB zero path. Uh, let's just make sure that looks right. And I'm actually gonna make a new session here and I'm just gonna show you that path here. Uh, raspberry. So if I CD to slash dev slash, just slash dev actually, and then list everything, you can see here that, um, where is it? TTY USB zero is right here. And I've been reading online. We should just be able to say like cat and then say TTY USB zero and it'll just start printing data, but that wasn't working for me. Uh, I'm not sure why, but people have been working like that. This is like the most direct way you could get the data from your GPS receiver. Um, but anyway, we're just going to set it up in this GPSD file. And then just say in this window, just say control X, Y, enter. 
and let's try C GPS again. And you see it's still not working. And the reason is because we need to restart that GPSD service. So we can just say sudo service GPSD restart. That was fast, so it looks like it restarted. And now if we just say status, uh, it's, it's active and running, so that's good. So I'm gonna control C to get out of that and clear this. And now let's try going to C GPS again. So you might, it might take a few seconds to get um, a lock, but there you go, we, we're getting some data right now. And you can see it's, it's kind of going in and out, and that's because I have this, this receiver just inside by my window, just hoping I can get a good signal. It seems to be working, but uh, if you notice, it might go, it might uh, lose the signal. But yeah, this is working, uh, we're getting data. Um, so that is awesome. Um, the only thing, other thing I wanted to show you in this video is how can we basically write this to a log file. So this is cool. We're seeing all this information, but uh, you know it's not being logged anywhere. Once we once we control C out of this, we we don't have that history anymore. Um, so another tool that got installed, like remember the GPSD clients, we got CGPS. There's this other one called GPS Pipe. So this will allow us to basically pipe that the output to a text file. So we can just say GPS pipe dash R dash N and then um, the number of uh, entries you want. So I'm just gonna say 10 and then dash O for output. And I'm just going to put it or call it GPS output dot text let's put a underscore there gps output dot text um, and that should work so this should uh, basically run the gps thing uh, and write 10 entries to a, a text file so let's just click enter and it shouldn't take too long but you see it's it's running right now okay so now it finished and if i say ls it put it right there so since I didn't exa like explicitly say where to put this text file, it just put it in my current directory. So that's why I could just say ls and I see it there. Um, so I can say cat to just view this file and then GPS output. And here you go, we have GPS data. So here it is, this is all the GPS information. It's kind of hard to look at. It's hard to understand what exactly it is. So um, they have like Python libraries that make this a little easier to work with. And that's what I'm gonna do in the next video is um, just show you the, the libraries that I found and I started working with. Um, but yeah, you can see here, the information is here. Let me try to get something that makes sense. Um, like these are the coordinates, this is the latitude north, uh, this is the west latitude. But yeah, you can see the information's here. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about how we can make this look a little prettier with Python. Thanks.